It has been nine years since a tragic ambush that shook the West Webster community and beyond. Just before sunrise on Christmas Eve 2012, a man set fire to his house on Lake Road before shooting and killing two firefighters as they responded. Erica Cost is at the memorial of this tragic incident with more. Erica, good morning. Good morning, Allie. And one candle lies at the memorial site lit right now where dozens of uh, first responders were gathered here just moments ago, remembering, paying their respects for a brief uh, memorial service. Uh, this is the West Webster Fire Department and multiple surrounding agencies as well. So this is close to the time, um, 630. Fire crews were called to the fire that, that was set off by William Spengler that day nine years ago. Officials say he set the house on fire as a trap to lure fire crews before he went on a shooting spree, taking the lives of 43-year-old Lieutenant Michael Ciparini and 19-year-old Tomas Kachufka. A body was uh, believed to be Spengler's 67-year-old sister was also found in his fire-ravaged home. Two other firefighters were also injured that morning, but thankfully they did survive. And Spangler also had a prior criminal history. He also served 17 years in prison for manslaughter in connection to the 1980 death of his grandmother, who was fatally struck by a hammer. Now, this morning uh, happened briefly. As I mentioned, dozens of crews came out to pay their respects, and in the past hour, they have all left, and the memorial lies there right now uh, for this Christmas morning. And we also spoke to the PIO, who's been with Webster, Webster Fire Department for 50 years, uh, so a big part of that community, and we got his take on just how um, that incident uh, shook him and really um, affected his life and his place in the community. Hear more on that later today on News 8. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio, Ali. Ericetta, thank you. Such a tragic story. A woman named Don Nguyen sold a firearm to Spangler three years prior to him using it in this shooting. In June of this year, she was released from her eight-year sentence in federal prison. Well, now to the latest.